So it should be common knowledge, but it isn't. Apparently, at least, because I saw someone on GitHub do this. Do not ever hard code your password into the uh, file, into the executable eventually. Passwords, the strings in general, they are not translated into machine code when you compile your program. It, they're already encoded and they're already data, they're not instructions. Okay, so let me show you an example. I have this little program right here. What it does is it asks you for a password and you can uh, input the password into this pass variable, very safe. And um, uh, if the password is equal to un password123, then it prints out access granted and then uh, exits with exit success, which should be zero. Otherwise, if the password is not password123, therefore incorrect, it prints out access denied, then exits with an exit failure, which should be a non-zero value. Um, I think this one is going to be one. So, um, why this is bad? This is really bad. You don't hard code your password in like that. Okay, there's a really good reason for that because if we compile this into an executable, and of course we can run the executable, it works fine. Yeah, if w if we input a wrong password, access denied. If we input a correct password, which is password one two three, access granted. Um, but uh, of course, the the password is hard coded in, so you can use the Unix <coughs> Corona. So you can use the Unix stream. Oh, wow, <coughs> wow, I'm really getting sick here. You can use the um, Unix strings utility just to get the uh, all the string data from the executable so you can just give it the executable strings buddy you can just give the executable and voila here is the password now if this program was way larger and has thousands upon thousands of lines you could probably still find it from context but uh, it's still difficult so I'll give them that so what we can do is automate the process and crack it because these are all the strings that we have we don't know which one is the password if we're a hacker which we simply don't know maybe this one maybe this one it's probably this one but <coughs> it may not be password one two three maybe this how would we even realize that it's this you know just an instruction or something or like th these are not instructions but still so we can actually use that command and output all the uh, uh, information, all the strings, into a file. We're going to call it dict.txt. And another thing we can do with this program is, uh, as we saw previously, it uh, exits either with uh, exit failure or exit uh, success. And uh, we can actually check that as a user. So if we run it and we give it the wrong password, well, then we can echo its um, dollar sign question mark, I think. Yeah. Uh, we can echo uh, the basically the exit status code of the previous program that ran and we can see that it's one therefore it failed this is enough information for us as a malicious hacker to assume that if we gave in the correct password it would not exit with failure or it would exit with success doesn't really matter it's just an example here just it's, it just applies to this example uh, you have to act accordingly to your scenario but still in this case so um, I've actually written a script called cracker which does that very thing <coughs> of course it's not perfect because I'll, I'll, I'll explain it first so what it does is it takes two uh, arguments the first one is the executable and the second one is um, the dictionary and um, f for each line of the dictionary it fits that line into the executable and it suppresses the output then if the exit code uh, is zero it uh, prints f password found and then the password so this is flawed uh, but uh, it works in this case but in general it would be flawed it would be more correct to just say if the pass the exit status code is not uh, anything but zero that would be better but still it works in this case so if we run this I think it has the correct permissions 
Uh, so if we run it, we actually need to give it. Um, <coughs> we actually need to give it the arguments. So the first argument is um, the uh, Vuln thingy, and the other argument is the dictionary that we saved from strings. And now it found the password. It's that simple, and of course you don't even have to do that. Just with the string information, just with strings, we can just take out all the strings, and it's it should be very easy to guess which one is the password. It just, you know, it's common sense. It's probably this one, not just because it looks like a password, but also because uh, it's uh, the context is right. But uh, as I said, you don't even have to do that. Worst case scenario, if your program is huge and you don't know which one of those is the password, you just try them all out with a script. So, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, goodbye.